Y'all know the name. What's going on guys, my name is Matinio and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and part 2 of our Rallycross build series. So today we are going to use the 2013 Ford Focus ST and I've got this in a wheel spin. I, I, I don't know what episode it was but I, don't, I think I got it in a wheel spin. So, just to summarise yourself again with the rules, the Rallycross builds are going to be very maximum top of S1 which is 900 um, points. Of performance and one of the manda the mandatory upgrades are going to be rally tires and rally suspension everything else go nuts so we're going to get those two done right now uh, where is it now what tire compound the rally tires are going to be going to be bloody expensive 10 grand Jesus okay that's fine that's fine it's fine right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do the uh, the upgrading and I will show you the basket at the end and if you want to build it yourself then you you can do okay so I'll be back in a moment okay then so here is the basket so we got the rally tire compound rally or we pretty much got race everything absolutely everything on race so you can pretty much do everything. It's going to cost eighty thousand. I have also done a drivetrain swap, so we've dropped it to all-wheel drive now, which is definitely going to help us through the uh, the dirt sections. But it may provide a little bit of understeer going through the tarmac sections. But we're going to buy these updates, and there is the the jump. So it takes it to four hundred and eighty-seven brake horsepower. So a jump of two hundred and forty brake. And it takes it from um, middle of B class right up to the uh, near enough the top of S1 class. So let's buy this and then we're going to put a livery on it and then we're going to take it to the track. Okay then, so we need a nice livery and oh, I'm a fan of that. I have been watching a little bit of Rallycross lately. I'm a fan of that. So I think, should we go for that one? Or is there anything else? Um... No, I think we definitely got to go with the uh, the Monster Rally one because I love the look of that car, the the, the black and the grey and the blue. It looks awesome. But let's see what it looks like on our car. Let's see what it have. Let's see what it looks like. Come on, come on, hurry up. So here it is then, and this looks absolutely nuts. Oh yeah, we can't. Oh, can't wait to get this to the track. This is going to be insane. So let's go to our test track, which is the, it is the, I can't remember the name of it now. It is the, ah, there it is, the cross track scram, uh, scramble, cross track scramble mat. Say it properly. So this is the track, um, rally cross track. So there's a bit, there's a couple of tarmac sections and there are um, some, some off-road sections as well, some gravelly bits. So it's 1.8 miles. As usual, we are going to get six laps. The first one is a sighter and then five flying laps. And one of those five flying laps is where we're going to get our best time from. So let's jump over to there and get it done. Okay, so here we go then. Run number one as we're getting frame rate drops again. Yay! How I've, how I've missed you. We only had two in the last episode of... Um, Anyway, so for those of you unfamiliar with the series, this is the track. Oh, no wonder Jim Cott lost a, a Jim Block. <laughs> Ken Block! Fuck, I can't speak today. Ken Block lost a Jim Connor in this thing because it seemed pretty good. Doesn't sound anything close to as mean as our Skyline did. Shit. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. This is the side to lap, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm just like Ken Block. Or the other guy who races in Rallycross in one of these. I can't remember his name. We Okay, then we're coming down now for, to start our first flying lap. Ignore the frame rate drops, I'm still trying to get it sorted. It's been good all day. There we go, that's good. I can't remember off the top of my head what the time for the skyline was, but uh, I'll put it on screen at the end. Because I'm fairly certain it was a 57? 57? 
There we go, that's pretty good. It's not as stable. It's a little bit more... Um, it's a little bit more uh, tail happy than the Skyline was. I'll give it that, but it's still not too bad. Jumpy! It's just through this little town place where the frames keep dropping. It has got better, I I'm going to say that. Turn 10, you have made this game better in terms of the frame rate drops. But I think you really have to work in trying to get... In trying to sort out how much performance that fucking game DVR needs. Because I've tried, I've tried loads. I tried Marilla's action, I can't get it to record for the life of me. I can't figure it out. It just won't record. You put it in game mode and you, you, know, you think, oh yeah, I'm ready to go. So, Marilla's action, you will not be getting my business. Well, oh shit. Okay, a little nudge there. So this is our second flying lap. The best time is a 58.029. So it's not too far off the skyline. I, th I think it was a 57.8 that the skyline put up. And to be honest, coming into this, I didn't think that this thing would get as get close to the to the other one. But let's see, no, it's still still 58. I didn't think this would get it, uh, too close to it. But it's giving it a good old go, isn't it? Jim Carner. up. Yep, that lap's fucked. <laughs> so 58.029. It's the best valid lap so far. Then that's what I'm going to do for the series. Only valid laps count. If I hit something... Oh, now that's rally style, that is. That's perfect. Oh, see, if this lap weren't invalidated, that would have been so bloody quick. Yep, frame's dropping again. Again, apologies, guys. I just There's nothing much I can do, really. I've lowered my settings as far as I'm willing to. You know, by an 8GB graphics card, this shouldn't be an issue. That wasn't particularly quick, but we can make it up. We can make it up. So this is lap number five and our penultimate flying lap. We'll have one more after this and we'll see if the skyline is getting knocked off its top spot or if it's going to remain there and be the time, be the car to beat going into episode three. Oh, just like Ken Block. Oh, that other guy just rally cross. I think I've said that. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do it on this lap. I don't think this lap's going to be quick enough to beat it. But this car's not bad. It's good. It's a little bit, like I said, it's a little bit wobbler. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, not good enough. So the 58.029 is still the best time coming into the last lap. So I'm really going to try and throw this thing around now. It's all wheel drive, but it's struggling to get the grip. And this is the standard focus. This isn't the uh, Horizon Edition. I'm not lucky enough to get that. Not the minute. I've got two Horizon Edition cars, but if you saw my last Wheel of Forza episode, you will know I got absolute shit. Well, not shit, I just got money. And a car that I already owned. <laughs> oh, that's coming to here a little bit too hot. Come on, we've got a channel Kenny Block. Don't be fooled by the cars that I've got. I'm still, I'm still candy from the block. Wee! Right, so we're gonna run to the line. We're gonna try and keep it as straight as possible. Or oh, it might just do it. Ooh, 57.781. It just beat the skyline. That is insane. I'm pretty certain the, the Skyline did a 57.833 as well. But let me just check. Okay, I'm back. Yes, it was a 57.833 that the Skyline did. So it has beaten it by about uh, half a tenth of a second, five one hundredths of a second. So we have a new leader and it is the Ford Focus ST. So 
absolutely brilliant. Let's should we collect our reward? Let's con let's collect our reward. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, well there we go. We're not going to collect our reward, obviously. I still can't figure the buttons out. I've got a PS4 controller. That's why. But there we go. Ford Focus ST, the new leader in the Rallycross build. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy and you'd like to see more, then please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe for more daily content. Remember to check out the playlist. There is a playlist down below of all of my previous Forza videos. There's a link down there, so you should go and check them out. We've got a wacky build. We've got some, um, some time attack builds. Uh, Wheel of Forza, of course, which is a very popular series so far. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, stay cool. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side. Driving Ken Block's focus. Peace! Verstappen takes the position, so Verstappen now leads the Grand Prix, and he's going to be going to the end of the Grand Prix. We have an additional pit stop to make, and he has DRS as well. We move the fuel up to a rich mix, try and stay within the tow. We get very, very close, get on the grass a little bit on the outside as well. As we come through the final chicane, though, we get very good drive, and we're right up with him once again. As I'm going to cut now to the inside of the corner, we make a big dive down the inside. Verstappen's going to turn in on us. There's contact there, and then there's contact to second time I give him room but team radio what is he doing